Well, hey gang, how you doing? Jonathan here for Tailhunter Sport Fishing, and it's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report, coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico, and then covering all of the fishing action for our Tailhunter Sport Fishing fleet here in La Paz for the 26th of May through the 2nd of June, 2022. Wherever you are, hope you're doing well. Thanks again for checking in. Thanks for spending time with us, and please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Well, here I am in my, uh, I guess you call it my man cave cave these days. Uh, it's the only place I could get away and do the report this week. The office had people running in and out. Uh, our house seems the cats won't stay off my desks. So this seemed to be the best place to do the report this week. So I'm uh, driving on the highway back north of La Paz at the moment. So let me give you a, a roundup on what's going on. You know, it was like night and day this week. Earlier in the week, and if you've been listening to our fishing reports, you know that it's been really cold, unseasonably cold. It's been windy, it's been rough. Temperatures have been a good 10 or 15 degrees lower than they normally are. I mean, in the morning I'm wearing a jacket, the captains are wearing jackets, got long pants on, literally shivering as I go into the water in the morning and pull boats up on the beach so our clients can board them and, and get out fishing. Likewise, the fishing has been reflected in the temperatures. Uh, we're catching mostly cold water species these last uh, month or two. Yellowtail, Amberjack, Sierra, uh, Pargo, Cabrilla, uh, all of this kind of species, Sierra, Bonita, all the species that normally we get during the colder parts of the year. And that would be winter time and then early spring. It should be a good 10 or 15 degrees warmer. Water should be warmer. Water should be calmer. We should be catching other species of fish this time of year. Well, that's the way it was at the beginning of the week. And that's what we've gotten used to, literally. And that's what I'm telling folks. But just about midweek, something happened. It was like somebody threw the switch. And suddenly, it went 55 degrees at night. And instead of hitting only 80 degrees, which is still a huge 30-degree temperature switch during the day, it was going from like 55 to 103, 105, a 50-something degree weather change during the day. Suddenly, the wind stopped. It got humid. It got hot. The water's come down. Oops, some construction going on and uh, it, it was just like like I said night and day like someone threw the switch on things and the fishing well we still continue to catch the cold water species like the yellowtail the amberjack the sierra the pargo cabrilla made for great variety made for great action but now we suddenly started getting some of those warm water species that we've been waiting for we started getting some more dorado you know some 10 or 15 pounders but also some of those big boys like we had last year that are running maybe 25 30 pounds some big headed bulls a couple marlin also bit these are our first marlin of the season and normally they should be biting by now there's still a lot of them sitting on the surface but we actually got some of them interested in biting down on a hook we also got some wahoo. We got a smattering of tuna. So maybe this is the start of things. I'm not going to jump out there on a limb and say we're completely done with the winds and the rough weather. But for the most part, it was the first time I'm seeing some summertime-like weather. The temperatures have been ranging now into the high 90s, low 100s. Nighttime temperatures, maybe not so cold. Still down in the 60s, so a little, still, little bit still on the cooler side than what we normally like to see. But maybe things have changed maybe we've turned the corner and maybe we're finally into our warm water fishing season we can only cross our fingers and hope in the meantime it wasn't bad fishing it was just a lot of variety of fishing and really unexpected if you had a bait in the water you never knew what you're going to catch and that kind of makes it fun and exciting so take a look at all of the photos this week i've got the biggest photo gallery of the season so far i mean there were so many photos i didn't have enough space for everybody so try to get everybody in take a look wait till the end of the video and you'll check out all and you can check out all of the uh, species of fish we caught this week because it was really exciting and there's a lot of variety in the meantime thank you so much for checking in don't forget to give us a thumbs up a like and subscribe and uh, this is jonathan for the mexican minute hope you're doing well thanks for spending time with us god bless we'll catch you next week